Hey guys, look here. Quick video today to show you how to install the slide and drawers on your desk. This is the feature now in most uh, computer desks and so on that you use. And a lot of people get confused how to install these. So I wanted to do a quick how to show you guys exactly how to install. So you can go from this to this. And I'll show you what you guys need and we'll get started. So obviously the kit, you know, the directions come with it. I don't have them because I already assembled this desk a while ago. I have a video in the link be below, so check that out if you want to see uh, the build of this desk right here. Um, but basically, it's a two-piece system, which I'll put the camera down and I'll show you guys how you disassemble it. Uh, there's no left or right. They're the same build. The only way it differs is how you disconnect it on each side uh, from the desk itself if you want to remove the drawer. So, and then the little screws, uh, six for each side, uh, three and three on the sides for the interior, and then uh, three and three on the side to attach to the drawer. You're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver or a drill, but you gotta be careful of using a drill, uh, impact, and yeah, let's get started. So like I was saying, there is no difference left and right on the setup, only the way you remove each side. So on this side, we're pushing this down, this little, tab here which i'll show you guys later during assembly you push this down and you push this out and you're now disconnected now we move to the other side and in this case since if we push the other one down we're pushing the tab up so up and push this away and there's our drawer removed so put it back we're going to slide this in line these up on each side pop it back in you're gonna feel a little resistance you give it a harder push here and now you're fully locked in now i'll show you how to assemble this so the same idea with when you get this out of the package there's two sets like this there is no left or right um the way you this is going into the cabinet itself this little piece right here is attached into the drawer so we got to take this apart to connect it to each uh uh, piece so same idea like I just showed you with the drawer that was already installed we're either pushing this up or down depending which piece it is or how you holding it so I can feel a little click when I go down here so all I'm doing is pushing this down and pulling it out and now with this guy the same exact thing turn this around so right here and push this down Take them apart, and now I can install each one on the drawer and inside the cabinet. So once you have your drawer assemb assembled, you grab in one of these thin pieces, and we're gonna line it up with the holes that are already pre-drilled on this, and it will line up to specific holes on this. Um, in this case, it's th these three wide ones, um, and this is going flush against over here. And you can see that the opening is the piece that will be facing into the cabinet itself. So I'm using a screwdriver because I don't want to strip the bolts since I already just took this apart once. You want to center it in the middle of each one. And that those holes basically allow you for adjustment, which you can uh you know adjust as you need it if the drawers are bumping into each other um but i know the metal works for me so that's what i'm leaving it at i'm gonna tighten them all and that's this side on the other side same exact idea so now one thing you'll notice is you know when you're facing the bottom of the drawer top of the drawer this little tab here that i was talking about will be facing a different direction since these are the identical pieces, you know, that's why you're pushing up or down when you take this out later on, because one of these is upside down now. So we'll just put this one in. All right, so the rails to the drawer are attached. We can put that to the side, and now we can install these guys inside the cabinet itself which normally you're gonna be doing while you're assembling the cabinet. Since mine is assembled, I'll be showing you that way. So now inside the cabinet, we're gonna install the slide out piece. Uh, it's gonna be just like the top one here. Uh, so make sure this little black tab 
is sticking out and the buffer is facing the back. Um, there's three holes already pre-drilled to install this, which line up with the back here. And the way you have to install this, you actually have to slide this out to get the opening to each hole. So there's extra holes. If you're doing different installs, these are probably universal for different type of desks. So you just have to line it up. So it's about uh, three quarters of an inch from the edge. Um, it, it shows you in the directions, but it, you know, it's pretty common sense when you look at it. You don't want to be sticking out here because the drawer has to go inside a little bit, right? So um, I marked the ones that go with this. So I know exactly that I have one here. Then I have to slide this over. I have one right here. And then one all the way in the front, which I'm going to slide this back to the big opening right here. So same idea. Let me get this installed. I'm going to use my drill in this case to get this started. It's just a little easier, quicker. And then we just got to find the metal one. There's two pieces actually that's like this piece here as well as this piece. So you just move it all around to find the right spot. Fully tighten on the drawer, I don't want to damage the threads. But if you do damage the threads, you can put a piece of wood in there and some wood glue, and that uh, will give you a tighter fit for the screw as well. That's it, we have one side done. We'll do the same exact thing on the other side. Right here. Uh, and we'll be done. So guys, moment of truth now. Let's get this assembled <laughs> fully. Uh, make sure you push the slides in all the way so we can evenly line this up. You're lining up this end on each side with this. Make sure you get inside there, not on top of it as you will be out of alignment. So this one's good, this one's good. You're gonna feel, it should be going in pretty smoothly. Little resistance at the end and now it just snaps in and now it's fully installed. As you see, nice and smooth. There shouldn't be any resistance. If there is, you probably are misaligned on top of the rail here or something. I'm gonna get the little one up top as well. See, that's what I'm talking about. Misaligned on this side. So make sure you line up correctly. There we go. And we are good. Guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please follow any comments, please do so below, and I got more coming for you. Thank you.